Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at lead code problem and the problem's name is delete the middle node of a linked list. In this question, we're given the head of a linked list. Delete the middle node and return the head of the modified linked list. So the middle node of the linked list of size n is the n by 2 node from the start using the zero based index where x denotes the largest integer less than or equal to x. So middle node is floor of n by 2, n is the length of the linked list. So floor of n by 2 will give you the middle node. So let's take a look at these examples and see how we can solve this question. So we need to find the middle node. So to find the middle node which is equal to floor of length by 2. So to find the length that is the number of nodes inside the linked list, I'm going to create a current variable which is pointing at the head of the linked list and then I'll use the current variable to find the length of the linked list. So I create a variable length, so length is equal to 0 and each time I move the current variable forward until current reaches null, I keep adding the length of the linked list. So length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and current is now pointing to null so we end the while loop and length will get the value as 7 so length was initially 0 and it will become 7 now we need to find the middle middle is equal to floor of length by 2 length is 7 7 by 2 7 by 2 is 3.5 floor is 3 so the third node is the middle node node start on 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so middle is 3 so this is the middle node now we have to remove this node. So for that we have to find the left node to middle and change its connection to middle.next. So we need to point at this. For that I am going to set back current back to head. So current will come back to head or you can use a new node but I am using the existing node current. So I move current back to head until current reaches middle minus 1 I will iterate. So current will go from here so current is here if I check if it is middle minus 1 no here current is equal to middle minus 1 so I stop the iteration so current is here uh, now I ne need to change the connection so current dot next will point to middle dot next so current dot next will point to middle dot next and these connections will be removed now it is matching our expected output so this link list will be transformed to So this is matching our expected output here. So 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 6 is the expected output. Now let's take a look at example 2. Let's do the dry run while writing code for this by implementing the same steps as example 1. So let me remove the list node class. So we started off by creating the current element which is pointing to head. So current was initially at head right. So let's point current to head. Now I create a variable length to find the length of the linked list. So length is equal to 0. So length is an integer variable. So int length is equal to 0. Now I will iterate until current reaches null. So using a while loop current will start from here and it will reach null. And each time I will increment length. So length will go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and current will reach null. So while current is not equal to null. I will increment the length variable and move current to current.next in each iteration. Now we can do a base check if length is equal to 1. So if there is only one node that is the middle node and we will remove it. If we remove it we will return null because there won't be any elements if number of nodes is 1. So if length is equal to 1 we can return null because that will be the middle element and we will remove it and we will be left with null. Now we need to find the middle. So length is 4. Middle is equal to floor of 4 by 2 which is 2. Middle is equal to length by 2. Since we are taking integer variable, so if length is 5, 5 by 2 is 2.5. Only 2 will be stored inside the middle variable as we are as the data type is int. So there is no need of doing mat.floor 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is the middle element. We need to remove it. To remove that, we need to find the middle minus 1 node. For that, I am going to use the current pointer by setting it back to head. So current will come back to head. And now I will iterate until current reaches middle minus 1. So use a for loop where it will start from 0. 
because current is at zero until middle minus one and in each iteration i'll keep moving current forward so current will become current dot next so current will reach middle minus one node which is here now once current is here we need to point current dot next to middle dot next after the while loop we'll write current dot next is equal to middle dot next but middle is a integer variable so we do current dot next to current dot next dot next so current is here this is current dot next and this will be current dot next dot next so current is current dot next is equal to current dot next dot next so this will remove the connections between those two and finally we'll get our output so one two four will be our output which is matching here so finally we can return the head of the linked list which is starting at here so head will be here right so if we return head the entire linked list will be returned as output so return head now let's try to run the code the test case are being accepted let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the number of nodes inside the linked list and the space complexity is o of 1 because we're not using any extra space to solve this question that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video